Kind of put the cat amongst the pigeons with her uh, view that interest rates in the US are not necessarily going to go up, but in fact, she's even talking about interest rates reverting back to what they were before our uh, kind of December rate hike that we had. So, completely against the uh, rhetoric of the other uh, Fed members, Dudley and Lockhart, who were given more of a bullish view on interest rates. Some commentators even thinking that maybe an April rate hike was possible. And then Janet Yellen last night basically kind of came out and said, yeah, that's, that's pretty much not going to happen. And in fact, she's even considering uh, rolling its things back because the world economy is still so un un unstable and slightly fragile. So that had a very negative effect on the US dollar and uh, helped to push um, US equity markets up to levels that they've not seen. I think maybe some of the highest levels in, uh, in 2016 so far. And when we have a look at the US 30 in a second, you'll get a chance to, to go ahead and see that. Um, there's other news as well from Bank of America. Bank of America clients are uh, selling more equities at the moment than they are buying. And uh, we are hearing that there's more volatility related ETFs are becoming even increasingly popular right now, um, usually as a hedge against the markets kind of really selling off. So these volatility ETFs, uh, they stand to, to pay out if, of course, there's lots of volatility in the market. So um, it seems to be that retail investors anyway, they're not really believing in the strength of this current current rally. But typically what you might see in situations like this is it's a slow grind higher as all world powers try and help prop up the, uh, the economy. And you might, you might end up waiting quite a long time for that period of volatility. But it all depends on the macro data. And that's pretty much what they said in regards to uh, US interest rates as well. Uh, if the macro data is good, then we can talk. If the US macro data ends up being quite meddling, then they're all options on the table, basically. So that gives you an idea about the current fundamentals. Let's look at things from a technical perspective. So this is where we are with US 30. You can see we had a big turnaround yesterday where it sold off and then pushed up that little bit higher. This is now the highest level we have been in do, 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 pretty much all of 2016 so far. Uh, not that far away from 17,979, which would be the next potential resistance level from, uh, from back in November. CMC clients are pretty bearish at the moment. 87% of CMC market clients are currently short. And as ever, all the technicals are massively overbought. We are seeing a little bit of divergence on the, on the ultimate oscillator right there. Sometimes our early warning signal. And you can see the slow stochastic has been overbought for, seems like forever. Um, we still haven't gotten our negative crossover on the MACD yet because the histogram hasn't turned orange, but we're getting very close. Moving on to the UK 100. It's kind of not really doing a huge amount at the moment. Uh, you can just see the bounce, the beautiful bounce of the potential support level at 60.70 that we had yesterday. It could be a double bottom. Uh, failure to follow through that much rigor this morning, potentially capped by that 21 period SMA. 55% of CMC market clients are currently short. Moving on to Japan, 225, flat and lining as well, oscillating around 16.896. Uh, a hug in the 21 period SMA. Other technicals are relatively neutral. You do have a slight divergence on the slow stochastic, which might be adding some negativity. Now you can see we're negative so far today. 54% of CMC Marcus clients are currently long. Pushing on with dollar yen. Uh, dollar yen failed to, to break higher. So obviously the US dollar lost a lot of energy yesterday after Yellen's comments. It collapsed through that 21 period SMA. It's fallen through lower already this morning. Uh, 111 spot 61 could be the next potential support, but really be looking at the tips of these candles down here closer to 111 full stop. Uh, that could be where you might be looking at as a potential support level. 73% of CMC market clients are currently long, um, but after Yellen's comments last night, well, we'll just see what happens with the US macro data. If it comes out much better than expected, you might see a little bit of a turnaround. Moving on to crude oil West Texas, it started to, uh, to, to sell off. We did get a Brief move above forty dollars to forty eighty five, only for it to then to drift a little bit lower. We seem to be uh, bouncing around thirty seven sixty, uh, which was this broken uh, resistance now potentially acting as support, and uh, the twenty one period SMA could be acting it could be adding short term support as well. Seems to be clients are particularly bearish. They're sixty eight percent short. We have got a sell signal and slow stochastic and a crossover on the MACD as well. Uh, if we do continue to see further sell-offs, you could be looking at $35.13 as the next potential support. Moving on to gold, and gold got a massive shot in the army yesterday for obvious reasons. Uh, but interestingly, it's not followed through uh, this morning. Uh, 21 period SMA might be adding potential resistance. 62% uh, of CMC Marcus clients are currently long. Uh, we, could be, we could have a slightly sloping downwards trend here developing. Um, but it's kind of interesting when Yellen's saying that we might be rolling back interest rates in the US, that we're not getting more of a punch higher. Now, yesterday's move was great, 
but it's not really setting the world on fire, if I'm completely honest. Finishing up with Euro dollar and GBP USD. So um, Euro dollar got a big push higher. Uh, it'd be good if we could get break the cycle of, uh, of lower highs. Uh, again, it's not followed through that much this morning, but I had a great session yesterday. Uh, CMC clients think this uh, might be uh, the end of the of the move higher, though. 74% of CMC market clients are currently short. Um, certainly, the closer we get to one spot 1337, you might see some potential selling interest. In fact, you're already seeing it right now by looking at the tip of this candle, the fact that it's already been pushed down that little bit lower. Today's close should be quite interesting. And then finishing up with GBP, USD, and it has had three, three uh, advancing days in a row. Uh, actually had a great day there on Monday, pushed higher again yesterday, and uh, we're at the top end of the range so far this morning. But we've got a little bit of time to go before we get to one spot 45.65. But CMC clients are very bearish on uh, cable with an 87% short position building. Let's finish up by having a quick look at the market calendar to see what other macro events are coming out. So far today, you've got CCI in the Eurozone, CPI in Germany, ADP private payrolls, and of course, crude oil inventories, because of course it is crude oil Wednesday. You've got employment claims in Germany, GDP in the UK, uh, CPI in the Eurozone, and employment claims, because it's Thursday as well, those are weekly figures. And of course, you've got non-farm payrolls on Friday. Friday's got lots of cool data, loads of PMI data from, um, from China, from uh, Germany, the Eurozone, the UK, uh, and then you've got the unemployment rate for the Eurozone as well, and of course, non-farm payrolls, and then we finish up the week with the University of Michigan Cinnamon Index and PMI ISM Manufacturing as well. So Friday shaping up to be a big day, Wednesday and Thursday and Friday, all looking pretty decent uh, macro data-wise, so should keep the markets pretty exciting. Well, guys, that's it from me. Very good luck with your trading, and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next. Thank you very much, and goodbye.